Okay, hi, here today with Robert Brooks and Jonathan Godby, and we are at the Financial Management Association meeting in Reno, Nevada, and just a little about them. They're starting a new organization, the Christian Finance Faculty Association. So, Bob, you want to talk up a little about it? Sure. This has uh, uh, been in the works for, for a while now, and we're, uh, the interest of our group is to try to ex explore the uh, relationship between the Christian worldview and, and uh, academic finance uh, to provide a, a, a place for Christian finance faculty members to interact with each other, to help encourage uh, and equip us to do our jobs well. And uh, particularly in finance today, there's a lot of places where, where a Christian worldview may have uh, a perspective to some of the academic finance problems that we face. Uh, but it's mainly just a, a place where we can uh, fellowship together and explore ideas uh, and have uh, a lot of fun. Now, I, we, you just had a meeting about it, and a few of the things you were talking about, you are going to start a website. What's the website? Yes, it's uh, it, thecffa.org. It's T-H-E-C-F-F-A dot O-R-G. And on that website, we'll try to maintain a variety of different things. We're exploring the possibility of, of posting working papers that integrate a Christian worldview with some uh, academic finance issues. Um, we're going to be primarily at the moment looking at intersections, just trying to identify areas where uh, the Christian worldview may intersect with some of the academic finance problems that are being explored today. Okay. Um, and I think there were many different areas that you mentioned today, talking about behavioral finance and just the whole idea of a common good and a lot that there already is stuff that just hasn't really been identified as quit Christian. That, that's correct. There, recently there's been several papers uh, exploring the role of uh, religion and religiosity in corporate finance and, and other areas of finance. And uh, so we want to explore sort of a distinctively Christian view and, and uh, see where that leads us. Okay. Um, what are your plans going forward? You, I mean, if anyone wants to help or anything, is it, any, is it open to anyone? Or? Sure, and, and uh, you're more than welcome to, to join us. We, this, uh, this is our inaugural meeting. We're you know, still not entirely sure what we're up to, uh, but please feel free to send me an email to rbrooks at t-h-e-c-f-f-a dot o-r-g, and uh, let me know if you want to be added to our email distribution list. Uh, it, it will be blind copied, so you won't be identified uh, when when emails go out. And um, uh, you know, let, let us know what your interest area is, and, and what you may discover is there are other people with similar interests. One of your favorite, or one of my favorite comments that you mentioned today in the meeting was that we're all walking charities at some point. Could you just how that might be able, how people might be able to help others by being in this? Sure. The, the um, it turns out in a capitalist economy such as the United States that if you win, if you happen to succeed in your entrepreneurial venture, it doesn't take long to realize you don't have enough life left to spend the money that you've created. And so most uh, uh, successful uh, entrepreneurs uh, end up uh, just being walking charities. They're going to spend the remainder of their life giving money away uh, as, as many of the, the, the – uh, we observe many people doing that. And, one, one role that our organization may be able to assist in is to help, uh, you know, give Christian perspective to, to uh, uh, how that money is given away. And even, even if it's just, not even just money, but people could help by, uh, you mentioned a speaker series or sure. things like there's, that. There's all kinds of different directions we can go. One is a speakers bureau uh, uh, that uh, I'm a part of a Christian faculty organization where, where we've put together a speakers bureau and I've been called on several times to give a Christian finance talk. The, 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 the people who call me on the phone want uh, a finance faculty member to speak to a Christian perspective on personal financial management. And, and there's a need out there to, for, for uh, uh, individuals to know how to manage money, and many of them would like to know what the Christian perspective is. All right. Jonathan, do you have anything to add? Yeah, we uh, also look ways to serve the profession. So you have ideas of what we can do to help at FMA, to help um, in any way with grad students or whatever uh, service we can provide, please let us know. And if you're interested in joining, you know, go to the website that Bob mentioned and you can read a little bit about us. You can see the presentation that was done today and uh, 
we need feedback. So we're are you going to have these at other, not just FMAs? Are you thinking of them at other conferences? We would like to, um, but something they can look have, for at least. Yeah, Southerns, Easterns, whatever conference. Um, so at least when one. you are going to a conference, at least be aware that yeah. there may be one to look for it. Right. And at each conference, every conference that you're going to, you know, we'll post to the blog maybe if we get a blog going. Uh, hey, these are the people going to the conference, and if there's a sufficient number, we'll have a meeting. Anything else, either of you? T typically, the meeting will be a 7 a.m. early morning meeting at these conferences because that's usually a time that's open uh, as opposed to a lunch or a dinner or at another time. So look for us early in the morning. Okay. Well, again, thank you. And this is uh, where be the website will be listed below as well. Thank you.